What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. Car to throw after the play fake to Lynch. And Cook has it, left side. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. The Raiders' first down, Carr hooking up with Cook. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Here's a give to Lynch. And a pretty little juke move there on a nice game. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes, the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. <laughs> we are right there, about to break a big one. Get set, get set. Second down, Lynch, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. I know they've got to be careful not to go to the well too often, but it's a fine line, isn't it? Because sometimes, if you've got success, you want to just keep pounding away. But no success there. They rallied quickly on the defensive end. Snap comes at one, and it's Carr. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, that was certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. Yeah, and on third down, they said, forget about the sticks. We want six. The kick by Carlson is good. And they will stretch the lead now to 17-3. to three. So put another three on the board. All things considered, a good opening drive to begin the third quarter. And as a defense, the way that this game is going, you're excited to see those points go on the board. Gives them a little bit of leeway to play with when they're out on the field, but they're real excited to see their offense score. Now they get to go out there and do their part. So out come the Falcons now. Ryan and the Falcons now come up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Get up! They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it, but he is able to keep the feet in bounds. Give him a couple on the catch at second and eight. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. A fake to Freeman. Now it's Ryan. And finding the tight end, Hooper. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one goes for 24 yards. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. On first and 10, it's Ryan. He goes underneath to Freeman. Whoosh! A second nice move. 23 yards on the play.
This is Freeman on first and ten. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. They got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. On second down, here's Ryan. And that is caught. Touchdown, Falcons. Eric Sober, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Falcons have cut it to within a score. Sometimes those tight ends are a mismatch. They found the mismatch there. And that's exactly why you want to drop those types of plays because coverage is just going to go to the natural guys, the guys that make the big plays on the outside. But if you work your tight end into it, that's a tough one for a defense to handle. Tough, they couldn't handle it. They worked out for six. Bryant tacks on the extra point. Back now here on EA Sports. Or the fourth quarter will begin with a kickoff following the score on the final play of the third quarter. Here's Bosher to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Raiders offense now making their way back out onto the field. That last touchdown has made this really tight. They're clinging now to this slim lead. What, the, geez, the second half, they only have a field goal. This offense needs to kick it into gear. And right now, I'm looking directly at the field general, at the quarterback. This to me, he's got to take over right now. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Deion Jones. In from his linebacker's spot, he's able to drop him for a loss of about 10. Well, the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. the gun it's Carr and the pressure gets to him again Jack Crawford in there to get him and this pass rush strong now that sacks on back-to-back -back plays following the sack, looking up at a third and long. On the give, this is Lynch. And he will take this up to about the eight-yard line. Just a one-yard pick up there, and it'll be fourth down. A tight game like this, such a tough spot for the offense to be in, even though they have the lead, Charles, back up so close to their goal line. they got to protect the football. And that's when you have to take care of your team with play calling as well. Not a lot of misdirection, not a lot of counters, not a lot of plays where you have extra ball handling. Get it right to the hands of your running back, tell them to take care of the ball, and try and move forward. They go play action here on first down. They'll roll him out right. He's going to let this go deep. Back up, and he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. Julio Jones, 46 yards. Now the Falcons are an extra point away from tying the football game. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. So out come the Raiders. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, 
you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. To throw it's Carr. And complete right side to Cook. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. They'll run with Marshawn Lynch. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. and see how it all shakes out pop. after he, this. He, he, he want to throw this on the flat. Kids, the miracle at the Meadowlands. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And now here come the Raiders. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. And they'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. Back to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Bruce Irvin in there to drop him as the clock continues to roll. After the sack, oh, they're staring at a challenge basically from the other side of town. It's second and a country mile. They'll look to throw. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked up by Keanu Neal. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. Well, what a turnaround. They exited the line. No, it's over nice now. Lead, and now. Give me that! This. Give me that! You write your novel, you'll start out with, it was a tale of two halves, won't you? Right, but I'm a bad writer. <laughs> I don't know exactly what happened because sometimes teams can go in with a lead and get too comfortable, too relaxed, and a couple of things go wrong, and it's hard to get back that good feeling. A handoff, Devontae Freeman. And room there to work it inside the 25. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it here with a minute seven remaining. <laughs> 